what's up YouTube, it's your favorite Robert Ducky here. Welcome back to another Not So Twisty Tuesday. Today's video is going to be all about my adventure to Knott's Berry Farm. The adventure, amusement, fun park place. So let's do it! Before we get started today, I do want to do one shout out, and that is to my boy Jesse Dalva. Dude's got a pretty awesome uh, motovlogging channel. He's got a certain charm that nobody else I've seen seems to have. I love it. His uh, channel link is up in the card. Why don't you go click on that? Show his channel some love. My little brother's 11th birthday, the family went to Knott's Berry Farm up in uh, Buena Park. That's a pretty cool little amusement park, honestly, guys. Like, it's not that big. I think there's like 13 coasters there, but it's still pretty dang fun. Everything they have there is pretty cool. There's even a couple that I myself just, I'm like, I'm not going on. Like, one called the Accelerator. Which is really funny because like my favorite thing is the accelerator. <laughs> but no, it's just not a ride for me. It's uh, a ride that you sit down on the roller coaster and it shoots you forward like super fast. And then up this giant straight up hill and then down the other side. I'm just like, hell no, not going to happen. But one that I did ride that I thought was incredibly fun. It's called the Silver Bullet. It's a suspended steel track coaster. Uh, it goes up the hill. It's got a loop. And I'll be honest, guys, I was pretty terrified of that one because I don't like inversions. I don't like corkscrews and stuff. But I wasn't about to be called a bitch, so I went on it anyway. And, you know, it was actually pretty cool. So I'm glad I did. I liked it. The loop was still a little sketchy, but you know what? I got over it. But that one is like a little intense for me. You go around the corkscrew, and then you go the other way, and then you go the other way. And it's just like, holy crap. And then you come around that last corner before you go into the station, and you're on the outside of a loop, like a, a banked curve. And it's like four solid G-forces all at once. I'm just like, ah! I did not enjoy that part of it. Overall, fun roller coaster. And then another one that I went on that I really liked was called the Ghost Rider. It's a big wooden coaster. It's got like a 50 degree angle drop that looks way steeper when you're on it than it really is. And I've ridden bigger roller coasters that are way scarier and go faster and have steeper drops. But man, that 50 degrees seems like a lot more when you're sitting on the car and you're like two cars from the back, from the front, not the back. It's super fast, but for being a wooden roller coaster, the Ghost Rider is surprisingly smooth because apparently they just retracted it like last summer. Which I guess worked out really well for me because wooden roller coasters are really, really rough on my body. I have a bad back and bad knees and bad neck and I know they say, don't ride roller coasters. I'm like, forget that. I'm still riding. That was fun and my little brother was terrified of going on the silver bullet at first. For whatever reason, he didn't want to go on it because your feet dangle off of it and you're sat in these harnesses and that, that freaked him out. <laughs> That shouldn't be anything to be afraid of because the track is above you and your feet are nowhere near any of that. So I just, I don't understand what his deal was with that. But we got the fast pass too, which holy balls, the fast pass is expensive, but it's totally worth it if you plan on being there all day because you get to skip like 90% of the line. And I had a really bad experience with a fast pass once because the one other time I got it, it was like everybody else got the fast pass. So then nobody had the fast pass. 
but this time wasn't bad like we got to skip most of the line our longest wait for a ride i think with the fast pass was like i don't know maybe 15 minutes compared to everybody else waiting like 45 to an hour um you know i wasn't gonna complain about that that wasn't the worst so overall knott's berry farm it's a fun place i would consider going back if i had the money and i blew <laughs> like sixty dollars you know how easy it is to blow sixty dollars in an amusement park like i didn't realize i bought a pair of sunglasses i bought an ice cream cone i bought a souvenir and i bought a photo and that all together oh and i bought a beer because i was like i'm gonna have a beer in the amusement park because i can and all together it was like 65 dollars like holy crap was that a ten dollar beer and like an eight dollar ice cream cone Albeit that ice cream cone was like that big around and like that tall, but man, it was expensive. And then the photo was like $15. And I got the wrong one. Like you can still see me in it. My face is covered up by the souvenir-ish part. I'm like, why? And it's got me doing like a rock fist and I'm staring straight into the camera like, yeah, it's, it's awesome. I would put it up, but I'm sorry guys. I'm just, I'm not. Hi, uh, baby. Not ready to do a face reveal quite yet. Anyway, guys, that's my story about Knott's Berry Farm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, how about hitting that like button for me? And if you want to see more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button? You'll never miss a video.